Life, the University of Hard Knocks. Life, the University of Hard Knocks. Ladies and gentlemen, as you may know, life is a journey. And in this journey, we come from different backgrounds. And because of our background, sometimes we make certain decisions. And the decisions that we make determines if we are brilliant or we are just mediocre. And the truth of the matter that all of us aspire to achieve something one day. All of us want to be the best. But guess what? The truth of the matter, there will always be potholes in life. There will always be issues in life. There will always be an X to be solved. There will always be a Y to be solved. And how you solve the X, how you deal with your Y, will determine where you're going in life. And I want to say to you, you must realize that even though it's a university of hard knocks, only the strong survives in this university. So it means you and I have got to take an opportunity and time to invest in ourselves, to invest in who we are. Because if you don't invest in yourself, you will find yourself going where you never thought you will go. Because if you don't plan, if you don't prepare, you will find yourself repairing. And preparing is cheap, but guess what? Repairing is very costly. So ladies and gentlemen, I want to say to all of us today, we need to make sure that we prepare. It's not a nice thing. It's not something that you just go into it and master it. But guess what? If you get your mind to it, you can find yourself making it in this life. The reason why all of us are gathered in this place like this, to listen to this one guy, is because this guy made a decision. I want to invest in myself. I remember doing my standard nine. I remember I was studying, and, and my friends and I used to read books like um, How to Win Friends and Influence People by Del Carnegie, about Robert Schuller. Uh, you know, tough times never last, but tough people do. And because of that, we began to know where we're going. And I remember this book, Linda, because when you are reading a story written by someone, for some reason, you find yourself being part of that story. I don't know if you, you read stories like I do, or is it because it's me, I'm crazy. I know I'm crazy, but, but, but I have seen myself addressing crowds. I have seen myself expressing my gift. I have seen myself inspiring people. I have seen myself giving out solutions. And guess what? It is for that reason, ladies and gentlemen, that I decided to quit corporate world and focus on my own business. And I believe there is more to life than just looking for end of the month. There is more to life than wa waiting for that salary. There is more to life than waiting for that salary advice. There is more to life than waiting for that once-off deal, once-off contract, once-off tender. We can do more. And this is the secret. If you can start investing in yourself. And, 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 and a friend of mine, Apna Mariri, puts it nicely. He says, if you want to discover who you are, you must check the amount of problems that you go through. Because the problems that you go through define your program in life. And I believe all of us have got a program to follow. And for us to master our lives, to invest in ourselves, you need to make it an intentional thing to follow a program. And that program is to intentionally deposit seeds of greatness in your life. Nobody was born great. All of us were born babes. And all of us have messed up our napkins. All of us. None of us is exempt from that. Even the president have done that. But now what separates the winners from the losers is the amount of time they spend investing in themselves. And I believe that all of us, if we pay attention into investing in ourselves, we will change our lives for the better. And I know that better is the enemy of good. But best is the enemy of better. Because every time you go up, there are people who don't like you. Because we have the tendency to think that other people are, su are, are successful at our expense. Let me tell you, if you don't do what other people are doing, you will never get what other people are getting. Can, can we do an exercise on this one? Okay, can we do this? Please, all of us. What do you feel? Just a... 
Okay, let's do it faster. How is it now? It's nice, it's refreshing, eh? Okay, stop doing it. Are you still feeling it? No. Why? Because you've stopped. That's the trick, ladies and gentlemen. If you stop doing what I'm doing, you will never get what I'm getting. 